and welcome back to my channel. Um, so the light is being very full on at the moment, so I'm kind of like hiding, but we will disagree. And sorry for the blank face. I literally just got out of the shower, dried my hair, and then sat down to film a video. So we are doing a hand transformation today. Um, a couple of days ago, I received some new dreads in the mail. And I'm excited to show you guys, put them in, and go from there. One thing I want to say is I'm not 100% happy with my dreads, and I'll get more into that a little bit later. However, everything else, the quality is top-notch. These are so soft. Um, these are actually a little bit longer than um, my black ones, my green ones, my white ones. Um, so these are a little bit longer, which I wasn't really expecting, but it's just what it is. I sent two dots a message saying, hey, um, I want some custom dreads. They do custom dreads. They can do any type of dreads that you want. Long, short, thick, thin. They can do whatever you want. So I just sent them a message saying, hey, I want some custom dreads and this is what I want. Now the reason I'm not 100% happy with these dreads is because at the time my hair was a little bit darker than this. Um, recently I have bleached it and re-dyed it um, and so it's a little bit brighter which is what I wanted. However with these dreads I can assure you that these were not what I asked for in a sense. So I sent them a message and I was like, hey, I have orange hair, can I essentially get Halloween dreads? Yes, I know it's not the season, but I want Halloween dreads. I have orange hair, I'm feeling like the Halloween spirit's going through. So I sent them a message saying, I want some Halloween dreads. My hair is orange and I sent them pictures of what my hair looked like in natural lighting with no filters, no edits. Just a picture of my hair in natural lighting saying, this is what my hair looks like. I want Halloween themed dreads based off of this. After purchasing them, I waited a couple of days before I got the email saying that they were shipped. And I ordered the quarter head of hair. Um, I don't have a lot of hair, but my hair is thick. But I have all these other dreads that I was like, I can just put it in if it doesn't fill my head up. So I waited three weeks, more or less, on the dot. Um, I purchased them on, I believe it was a Thursday. They got sent out on the Saturday. Um, and then I received them three, four weeks on a Monday. If that makes sense. Um, so I just, that's the usual shipping time. I live in Australia. They got shipped from um, London um, in the UK. So obviously they have to go through customs, shipping, we all know the drill for that. So anyway, I actually received these a couple of days ago. It is now Saturday. Um, I received these on Wednesday and I was a little disappointed. I asked for Halloween themed. Um, so I would have assumed that I would have gotten something like greens or purples or blacks, you know, or something kind of like that, something Halloween-y. Instead, this is what I received. I received just orange dreads. Um, these are more natural orange dreads, where my hair is a very vibrant, unnatural orange. I would say this would probably be better suited to a redhead that might have an orange wash through it, or a redhead that has brighter hair than, I guess, a darker redhead. Anyway, I was let down a little bit. I have sent them a message and I am waiting to hear back. Um, obviously, there's nothing I can do about it at the moment. There is nothing they can do. Um, this is still lovely quality. I absolutely love these. These are so soft. Um, I have worn these, so they are bent in, bent in, broken in. They're not as stiff as when I first got them. Anyway, although they are not Halloween themed, I know I can just buy beads and wrappings and I've got some blacks and I've got some whites and greens. So I can always just put that in if I really want to do something like that. Um, so it's not too big of a deal, but it's just not what I asked for when I wanted to order them. 
Um, so that was the only letdown. Apart from that, everything else is top quality, top notch. They are so soft. So as I do with every time I put in dreads, um, I have washed my hair. Uh, when I put them in before, I used conditioner. And on my part, that was a bad idea as my hair started to unravel when I was plaiting it and putting it in and sleeping in it. It just came undone. So today I have just shampooed my hair and blow dried it a little bit and then let it air dry naturally. Um, so it's like this. It feels a bit dry, but obviously shampoo, no conditioner. We know the gist. I'm not going to sit here and put all of the dreads in in front of the camera. Um, I just think that would be a bit boring and a waste of time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I plait them. And then I'll come back when it's all done and show you guys the finished result. Another thing I forgot to mention as well is when you order from Two Dots, they send you out a little packet of rubber bands that you can use to like install them into your hair. I was honestly surprised that I got clear ones with these. Um, because I've had black in the past, I've always gotten black bands. Um, but with these ones, I actually got clear bands, so they're really considerate in putting coloured bands um, into whatever colour your dreads are. But, however, because I've already installed them into my hair, I use them all up because they don't offer you a lot. It's just like a one installation enough amount type of thing. But you can just use like loom bands, um, all those rubber bands that were really famous for like a year a couple of years ago I just use them they're really cheap any craft store they're generally on sale because they're trying to get rid of them so I have some black ones left over for my black dreads um, so I'm just gonna use them I'm not too fussed about how it looks in my hair but I thought I'd let you guys know so what I do is I've already sectioned off my hair this is the very bottom part I section it off into two bits and these these are single ended dreads which means that they have a hole at the very top there I don't know if you can see but you can get your finger through so these are single ended dreads so double ended are uh, one really long one that you fold in half to then plait into your hair I prefer the look of these ones, I just think they're a little bit more natural looking, but yeah. So with these ones, I get my sectioned off hair, I twist it, and then I thread my hair through like that. And then what I do is I split that hair in half. I don't know if you guys can see and then I basically just start plaiting down my hair like a braid and use the dread as the third braid if that makes sense so like that and then I get the rubber band and you just tie off the very end of your hair. Like so. What I do, if I just put in a really rush dread look, like I just want dreads for the night or, you know, something like that, what I do is I just put one rubber band around it. But if I really want them to stay, what I do is I take a second one, and I just put a second one a little bit higher than the first one just so that any loose hairs, any stray hairs, anything like that will generally stay. Just up the top there. Of course we're going to get stray hairs like up and around the base and everything like that. So I'll show you again. Hopefully it might be a bit better. What Generally what I do is I, when I have a row of hair... I generally try and make it, I would say roughly around a finger, like a finger thick. Um, I don't want it to be too thick that it can't, it looks weird. 
but I don't want it to be, to be too thin that I have to put so many dreads in my hair and it just doesn't work and it's just too heavy. I've done that before. Don't recommend that. You get a massive headache. So, I've got to do that one. Twist. Pull it through. And when it's up at the base, I like to pull both sides of the hair and make sure that it's tight against the base of my skull, but not too tight that it's uncomfortable and it gives you a headache. I have put my dreads in before and I've had to take them out because they were too tight and I got headaches because of it. But I think I cut it off. Like so. And when I get little straggly bits like that, sometimes they don't annoy me. But if they are too long, I just get another band. And then I just put it around the part that kind of didn't go into the braid, so to speak. So now I have two bottom ones at the very base of my hair. Sometimes I will do three at the very bottom, sometimes I'll do two. Um, it's really up to preference how you braid it in. Um, for the first time I actually put dreads in my hair. I put them all in and I did really thin strands and I did like, I tried to do four at the bottom and then three and four and three and trying to like layer it like that. It got too much. Um, honestly, if you're dreading for the first time, like putting like fake dreads in for the first time, I'm not going to lie, you're going to mess up the very first time you put them in, but practice makes perfect. It used to take me an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes to dread my entire head, um, but that was when I had only one side shaved, and then when I shaved the other side, it dropped to like an hour and 15 minutes, an hour roughly. Now, I can dread my hair in about half an hour to 45 minutes, depending on if I'm watching something, which I generally am. I just sit in the front of a TV and I just watch YouTube while I braid my hair. Um, but if I'm really in a rush, it'll take me about half an hour, 25 minutes, um, to do a rush job. Rush job. Rushed job. I do recommend that if you're dreading your hair and like using fake extensions, go slow, have a day off, um, do it after work when you're like, don't have to do anything for a couple of hours. Um, I do recommend doing like braiding your hair before bed, um, because these ones have already been broken in, they're not so stiff, they're just floppy. They will look very weird when you put them in for the first time because they're stiff. Um, as most people know, when you're doing actual dreads, they stick out everywhere and they're just hard and they're not soft. They don't do what you want it to do. Do it right before bed or at night time before you go to bed. The next day, they'll wake up. You'll wake up and they'll be a lot less stiff and uncomfortable. Unless you put them in too tight, to where unfortunately, I do recommend to take them out and to give your head a breather and a break. Then reinstall them, not so tight. Like I said before, it's all about um, practice. Practice makes perfect with anything. So I'm going to go do the rest of my hair and put some makeup on because I look like a potato. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. And this is the final product. So it took me a little bit. I was just watching YouTube, doing my thing. There are 27 dreads in my hair at the moment it looks a bit funky because i did them a little bit tighter than i thought i was going to so they're a bit stiff um they'll settle down when i sleep with them so i'll be fine and yeah so this is the final result what you are pull up these eyes rub up this place and scream i am your slice of life i am your slice of life i am your slice of life all right thank
thank you for getting this far through the video. A uh, little cat head peeking up there. Please like, comment and subscribe if you want more. I won't be doing dreads too often. I don't really change my hair colour that often. Um, I thought because I'm going orange, I might as well get some orange dreads to see how that goes. Um, and yeah, tell me what you think down below. Alright, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!